Welcome to part one of a series of tutorials about CalcLink, that is a product to link Mathematica and OpenOffice Calc, the spreadsheet environment from the OpenOffice.org Office software. In part one I will be showing how to use CalcLink from the Mathematica frontend, that is a way to send data to the spreadsheet or to retrieve data from the spreadsheet or to make changes to the spreadsheet structure itself, for example by inserting new worksheets renaming them or deleting them, or by inserting new cell ranges, deleting them, copying them, or moving them. In part two of the tutorials, I will be showing how to call into the Mathematica kernel from the spreadsheet environment. That is particularly useful in order to perform numeric computations, symbolic computations, or make use of the advanced graphics features Mathematica provides directly from the spreadsheet environment using your own data. In a subsequent part, I will be showing that CalcLink supports the use of one kernel for both frontends. That makes it particularly convenient to share data and function definitions in one kernel from the two, front, from the two frontends and to send data back and forth between the two. So for this part, I will be showing how to use CalcLink from the Mathematica frontend. We begin by loading the package. And by default, the launch of the package brings up a new empty spreadsheet, which is a feature that can be turned off in the configuration settings if the user does not want a new empty spreadsheet to be launched when the package is loaded. We begin with a simple example. We assign a two-dimensional matrix, a 4 by 4 matrix, to a target cell range. We use the function calc, indicate the target cell range, and after submitting this line, we see that CalcLink has immediately populated the target cell range with the data we have provided. If we use data of incompatible dimension, for example, a 4x4 matrix for the target cell range A1 through D7, CalcLink pops up a bubble that informs us that the dimensions of the data does not match the range definition we have provided. The data types that CalcLink provides are the ones that have a meaningful representation in a spreadsheet, and that is data of type integer, rational, or string. These data types can be used in any order in the data that is sent to the spreadsheet, as long as it is using only these three data types. For example, in this case, we sent data of type integer, rational, and string to the target cell range. And notice, for example, that in column C, we have data of type integer, rational, and string. These functions can be surrounded with loop structures. For example, here we send a couple of random numbers 100 times to a target cell range. The updates happen immediately. Notice that the data is immediately displayed in the front end and updated immediately after the command has been submitted. We can also delete data in the spreadsheet programmatically with CalcLink. For example, by using a dot, we can just remove the data we had previously sent to those cell ranges. The data can be retrieved with CalcLink by specifying a single cell or by specifying a cell range. For example, this obtains the data in the cell A1. Here we obtain data from a cell range that is a row vector. And here we obtain data from a cell range that is a column vector using the conventional notations in Mathematica for row and column vectors. CalcLink immediately overwrites the data in the target cells. For example, in this, in this case, we send data to the cell range A1 through B2. And notice that CalcLink coerces the data, numeric data, to be of type rational. For example, square root of 5 and pi, which in Mathematica are numeric but are not of type rational, are coerced to be of rational type when they are displayed in the spreadsheet. So CalcLink displays this number with the number of decimals that the user has specified in the formatting settings in OpenOffice. We can also assign data as a row vector. For example, this replaces the top row. We can assign as a column vector. For example, this replaces the first column. Numbers can be sent using two-dimensional arrays, one-dimensional lists, or as a single number. For example, this line sends the number 4 as a two-dimensional matrix. This sends the number 10 as a one-dimensional list. 
and this sends the number 20 simply as a number in one particular cell. In the following we read data from the spreadsheet and assign it to a symbol in Mathematica so that we can process it further. With this line we obtain the data from the spreadsheet and we assign it to a variable m. And now we can compute the determinant and the inverse in Mathematica and write the results back into the spreadsheet. So here we compute the determinant of m and write it back into the cell C6. And here we compute the inverse of m and write it back into a target cell range. With CalcLink we can also submit calc formulas themselves, not Mathematica formulas, but formulas that can be used in calc. And uh, as you are aware, in calc, in a spreadsheet environment, a formula is specified by using the equal sign and then using the cell that is to be used as a reference. And we can also submit a calc formula from Mathematica. So in this example, we write the number 99 in a particular cell. And then we also write a formula in another cell that makes reference to the cell we had previously written. We get the normal error messages for mathematical operations that are not permitted in a spreadsheet environment. For example, here we try to do a division by zero and we get the usual error message that informs us that we try to perform a division by zero. OpenOffice has error codes for these types of errors and uh, the function calc get cell error that CalcLink provides lets us see immediately the error code that OpenOffice provides and the error code 532 is the one that is used in OpenOffice to indicate that a division of division by zero was attempted. With the following examples we manipulate the structure of, this, of the uh, spreadsheet itself. For example, with the function calc insert sheet, we can insert new worksheets. So this line inserts a sheet with the name my new sheet in the third position that makes it the third worksheet. We can omit the index, in which case the sheet will be inserted as the first worksheet. And we can also remove sheets by using the name. This just removes the sheet with the indicated name or by using uh, the index. We can also change sheet names using the name or the index. So here we just use the index in order to rename a sheet. And here we use a name in order to change a sheet name. We can easily retrieve the name of a sheet or a collection of sheet sheets. For example, the function calc get sheet name returns us a sheet name and calc get sheet names gives us a list of all the sheet names that we have in the current spreadsheet. The following examples show how to insert cell ranges or remove them, copy them or move them. We go in the first worksheet that we have and we write a couple of numbers in them. And in the functions that CalcLink provides, it's possible to say in a second argument how neighboring cells are supposed to behave after the insert or remove move or copy operation has been performed. So here we use one cell D4 and move all the other cells downwards like this. And I use control Z to undo the operation I just did. Here we are moving to the right. In this example, we move the data row wise. This example, we move them column wise. The following examples, we will not insert them, but remove the cell ranges and the neighboring cells then are supposed to be moved upwards to the left, row wise or column wise. Likewise, we can copy cell ranges or we can move them. And Calcling also provides functions to change the formatting, the colors, for example. In this case, we use a blue background color for a target cell range. And that concludes part one of the tutorials.